Hey, hey, how we doing? Happy weekend. What's going down? What's going down? Has anyone had worse luck than my free to play? Call it out. Call it out if you have. Oh my lord, this free to play account is fully cursed. Fully cursed. How are we doing? Who's around? Vlad, welcome, Bob. Village Burner. It's a very, very rich name right there. Village Burner. Um, <laughs> how you doing? Rich Clifton. Dr. McBoy in the house. K. Seppo. Wicked. How you doing, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyone got anything cool going on this weekend? Rich Clifton, my free to play account looks almost exactly like yours. It's rough, isn't it? I really want just an ally protection champ. Oh, the luck is obscene. Compare it to my main account, which got the luck the other direction today. Feels bad. <laughs> How you doing, Kyle? John, I'm pulling 9,900 mystery shards for a fragment. Yeah, I've got a few people in the Discord saying the same. Like, that, to me, sounds like absolute misery. Like, there's no quick way, unless you've got some sort of macro you've managed to build or you're using, there's no quick way to pull 10,000 shards, is there? I mean, that's that's literally hours of your time doing that, isn't it? Well, not Lady H saying, do you have to level the people up? You can just literally feed them all into someone, but you've still got to go through the animate. You've only got so much space. So, yeah, you've still got to go back into the tavern feed all of that crap until you get what you want damn misery shards yeah that's it jordan yeah but i know some people that disagree with me probably rightly so it's just my opinion but i feel like this new version of event is better you can you can grab some mystery shards to get it done you can use voids if you've got voids you use sacred if you've got sacreds the only bad thing about it is i think the the point scoring for ancient shards is just too low that's the work. That's the bad thing about it. Otherwise, I feel like the event's not bad, actually. Like, I feel I feel like we've seen a lot worse. Uh, George Ball, you don't like it. Uh, not everyone will. I, I I wonder if the people are interested for you then, George. Would you have been able to do a guaranteed event of any type? Because I wonder if the people that don't like it were never going to be in the running for a guaranteed anyway. You know. And in that case, obviously, like if you're not in the mix, it's it's annoying, right? It's just annoying because you want to be in the mix and you're not. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think people that are in the mix probably, I, I would have thought would prefer it. Okay, uh, K6 never have shards anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's like the free to play. The free to play doesn't even cross my mind because I never got the shards to do this type of thing. got on some luck so polka is great yeah i mean i get what you're saying i got some okay champions here skinfoss is good stag's good so polka's good cornelia's good like i'm not saying i don't have any good champions it just feels like on the balance it's pretty damn grim it's got to the point now where i might have to build out who's the ally protector rare whoever that ally protector rare is i can't see where he is uh, I'm sure I've got one. It's got to the point where I might have to now build out that ally protector. Is he in here? I swear I've got one. Mimradon or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I've got one. I'm sure I've had one. Didn't feed him, did I? I don't think I've fed anyone today. Anyway, wherever he is, I feel like that's where I need to go if I want to progress with my clan boss. Pretty much. Like, I don't know where else I'm going to go if I want to push Clan Boss right now. I can't see him though. I swear I've got him, but I can't see him. Anyone else seeing him? <laughs> Maybe I've fed him. That would be harsh if I have fed him actually. So I have picked up though another Void Shard today. I don't know where I even got it from. Picked up a Void from somewhere on the free to play. This could be it. This could be Necret. 
Oh, it could have been damage, yeah. Yeah. Have I been playing King Arthur? I've not really been playing it, no, Dinosaur, no. Have you? What do you think? It, obviously, like, I did a review of it, and it looks damn sweet. I've just, I haven't really got time to play another game right now. Northern Zombie, how are you doing? Yeah, we, we are going to have Scent, by the way, for those who are kind of questioning it. We're going to have Scent coming onto the channel soon. And we're going to do a showcase of his account, which is up there as kind of one of the craziest accounts you will ever see. Uh, he's the sort of person, actually. And we don't, we don't value this sort of person enough in this community, right? He's the sort of player that goes and finds the fastest way to do stuff. He's relentless. He keeps going, trying out different comps until he finds the best way. And actually what happens is those comps filter down. Yeah, we might not have the same gear. We might not have the same setup that he's got. But those comps filter down to the rest of us and actually improve our ways of doing stuff. He's one of probably, maybe, I guess he'll go into it in a bit. But probably about 10 players that actively, like, constantly trying to better times, better setups. And, um, you know... It's, it's fun. It, it actually makes the game more fun for the rest of us, I'd say. Devon, I'm in desperate need of a takeover. I'm level 60. 1 million power, but I've been stuck like that for at least a year. I, obviously, Nevin, there's a thousand people in the stream right now. One of me. And I probably get about 10 to 20 DMs a day with the same message, my friend. All I can really suggest is go and watch the, the content I put out which helps you get better. I can't physically go in and do everybody's accounts. And actually, you know what? You don't learn anything if I do either. It's much better for players to actually learn the game themselves. Really, it's much better that way. The more people I just go in and do their accounts for, I think the less people can actually understand how to play the game. Fact. I, that's fact. So yeah. Not saying I won't ever do takeovers, I do do them now and then, but it's it's definitely not the healthiest way for people to understand how to play the game. Unfortunately, it's just not. You know, I, when I first did one, it was meant to be as a one-off, like, oh, this could be a fun idea. Well, I did not expect so many people to uh, to request them. You know, just crazy stuff. A tip for anyone thinking they need a takeover: go and ask for advice in Hell Hades Discord. Exactly that. Yeah. Yeah, just go and... Like, there's plenty of really experienced players in this game and actually really helpful ones, you know? Not just, oh, we'll, we want money to do stuff. They will help you with team selection. They'll help you with speeds that you need to run stuff. My Discord's a great place to hang out. I think we do a good job. We're not perfect, but we do a good job of keeping, like, really negative, kind of trolly type of people out. So, um, yeah. I think... I think that would be a good place to go. Also, yeah, I mean, the Optimizer is a great place to improve your account. But like if you can get yourself onto the Optimizer, that is a good place to find teams that you could be building, at least. We do love a sarcastic meme. We'd, I'm not saying we don't have trolls in there. Hopefully, it's funny trolls, right? It, if there's no humor in the Discord... Damn, I've done a poor job. Right, I made a little bit of room. Oh, by the way, I'm seeing a lot of DMs about this. I'm seeing plenty of DMs about this. What's, where is it? Here, this one. Variety string pack. I'm, I'm finding that people have been caught out by this pack. Can anyone spot what's going wrong with this pack? It's got a purchase limit. It's a string pack, but you have to buy the first side of it three times. This is, I'm on the free to play here. That's why it's so uh, low price, by the way. But you have to buy the first wave of it three times before you get onto the second part. It's. I don't know. Obviously, I've not bought it, but I don't know if that continues through this string pack. Does anyone know? Does anyone know about that? Because that is... That's kind of sly, honestly. That's kind of sly. So you have to buy the, 
the first level of it three times to then get onto this bonus offer. Hey, Scott, thanks, mate. Shout out from Ohio. Nice. Is the string pack worth it? I don't know. I've not, I've not bought it. We've actually got on hellhades.com now a pack offer guide. I know there's plenty of them around, so it's not like it's a new thing, but we've kind of got our own view on the world, so we thought we'd kind of do our own one. If you guys want to throw in the uh, the kind of pack pricing on our tool, you can. So it's um, overrated pack offer calculator. Same sort of thing that's been around for a while. It's not like it's a new idea, but I guess everyone's got their own view on what stuff is worth. You can throw it into this and see if you think it would be valued well or not. Um, up to you guys. Uh, will I do shard opening on your, on our accounts this weekend? Not this weekend, ga um, Games Hunter, no. no. So I've got Scent coming on soon. We're going to do a showcase of his, his account um, and kind of chill after that, I think. Fix, I've been pulling mystery shards for three hours. <laughs> Dude, you, sh you absolutely should have recorded that on a time, um, what do you call it, you know, time lapse. That's what you should have done. I'm sleeping on Hexweaver. So Brad, would you six star a Hexweaver? Is that, what you t is that what you're telling me? Hexweaver next six star? Let's do this void shard. How to get to your Discord on your website. Um, you could, if you want to find Discord, literally just type exclamation mark Discord right now. And that'll get you your Discord. A Discord link. Okay, let's do this. Does the free to play suddenly hit gold? After all this time. No, it does not. <laughs> no, it does not. It continues with those rares. Oh my lord, this free to play is fully cursed. Fully cursed. Ah. You know what's funny? Like, I'm such an optimist. I feel like every time I'm pulling a shard. In my head, I'm just like, it, it will this time. It will this time. I, I know it's coming. It has to come before long, right? So I'm always the optimist in it. And I keep getting slammed back down. Do you know eventually it's going to come? I guess I start leveling up some of these. Like, who's my next six star? This is what a question I've got here. Who is my next six star, guys? I I don't really have anyone who's going to dramatically change my clan boss team. And I've got someone who might improve it. Juliana might improve it over, say, Kale. But is it improving by enough to make it worthwhile to six star? Nukas, Nukas don't really change my account. I th this is my problem. I don't really feel like I've got anyone that's a game changer right now. Bow painted, maybe, but another support? Maybe. I've already got Relicry Tender running at 50, who does quite a good job of support for me. And I've got uh, Demasa running at 50 as well, so does a decent job of support. Plus, Cornelia actually does a good job of support. Fenshi is possible. Fenshi would be a good improvement on my Finite team, I guess. But you say wait for a better champ. I've just got like five star, ready to be five, ready to be five, ready to be five. Like I'm ready for a next six star, honestly. I've got two five star chickens. I'm ready to go. I'm good to go for the next six star. I just don't know really who's going to massively change my account here. HH, your pack offer calculator zero value for multi battles. Yeah, we don't really value them because it's so easy to just do multi battles anyway, right? I mean, what would you value them at? It's deliberately at zero right now. What would you value them at? I don't know. Are they worth more than like a penny or something? What do you guys say? A cent? A cent? <laughs> 
A dime. <laughs> a dime's still a thing, by the way. Is a dime still a thing? Coffin for HP burn. I mean, HP burn probably Carlinia is just a better option. She's currently in my Sorraf team. Sly, we're going to get Scent on soon. I think Scent is due... Yeah, he's just popped up. He's going to be good to go in about 10 minutes or so. So we're going to get Scent on, who is honestly just a straight up... We'll see what he describes himself as, actually. At least a whale, right? At least a whale. And the thing why... The reason why we're getting Scent on is not because he's a whale. Yeah, there's plenty of people that are. I'm a whale. It's because, actually, he builds really interesting teams. And I want to show, I want him to kind of talk through some of his teams and the way he thinks about the game. I'm mobile, I value them. Okay then, Eaton, what do you value them at? If you've got to put a price on them, what do you value them at? So for 50 multi battles, how much would you pay? If that's all you got, how much would you pay? Dime is a thing, but dime bag. <laughs> 50 multi battles, you'd value at $2, William. Damn. Apo and make a 2-1 white whale team with your high cartoon. I've thought about that, Revert Moon, and it's probably it's probably the best answer. It's probably the best answer. So if I had a 2-1, I don't know if I'm fast enough yet. I probably am though. So if I had a 2-1 team rocking with high cartoon and apothecary. What does that team look like? What does that team look like? It's quite hard to do a two for one with Sepulchre and get her block debuffs make, making any use. So you can't really count her in as a block debuffer. It won't, la it won't land properly. I feel like, oh, is this it? Is this the team? If I was on a two for one? Feels like the team sucks if I'm on a two for one. I really like. Doesn't it suck? <laughs> I've got some damage. I mean, I would do a lot more damage and quicker. So, you know, manual the start. It might work. No, just her cooldowns just don't make a lot of sense for a two for one. We'd have to slow her down to be on a four for three. I don't know if that's even possible. Why is T in the house? How you doing, man? I just picked up a Frozen Banshee. I could level a Frozen Banshee as well. I don't think that's worth it, honestly. Um, if I if I wanted to bring in a drop defense, I'd have to lose one of the two damage dealers. So let's say I lost Kale for Stag. It just it just feels like it sucks. Like to me, I guess I do have actually saying that I do have in my vault an Aina no good um, who might actually be good. Is it Aina no good? Is that a name or is it someone else? Yeah, Aina No Good might actually be good in this team for a drop defense and weaken. Maybe this is it. Maybe that's the squad. What does Skimpost bring for Clan Boss? Absolutely nothing, Sly. No, Skimpost is not a good Clan Boss champ. What are we saying to that? That could be the squad. Aina can smack. Yeah, I know she can smack. We don't have any buffs at all helping us, though. That's the only the only downside here. We've got zero buffs helping us. Uh, what about her extra turns? Hold on, what does she do? Aye, aye, aye. 15% chance of an extra turn. Does that matter in this type of squad? It's not like she's outrunning any buffs. What it might do is throw out a speech, you know. Yeah, you might be right. I, I forgot she had that. Um... I don't re like who else is there? Uh, Aishma, what's she doing? Poison weaken, no drop defense. Just feel like, honestly, 
it it feels like it sucks. Feels like it kind of sucks. Doom Screech fits here. Does Doom Screech make this a two for one? Not sure that he does. I think you would need a buff extender to make that a two for one. Oh, I don't know, man. It just feels like I'm waiting for one good champ, uh, clan boss champion. That's what it feels like to me. I'm waiting for one good one, like a Fane or a Taragi, someone who transforms this clan boss team. That's what I feel like. Anax would do. I'd take an Anax all day long. Yeah. I just feel like what I've got is not what I need. Corpse Collector. Got Leech. Got some Poisons. Again, wouldn't be bad in here. But for who? Like, you know? Yeah, for who? Just, I'm just waiting. I'm basically waiting for that next, um, that next champion that can actually do something decent. Really am. It's, it's harsh. Uh, have I summoned for this times 10? Yeah, summon YST. I even spent 1300 gems on new shards to try and get someone. Nothing. Literally nothing. I got Fenchy, yeah. I got Fenchy. I just, I don't know that Fenchy, honestly, improves where I am by that much. Like Juliana, better than Kale right now. Would be better, right, in this team. But is it by enough to make it worth it? Like Fenchy there, fine. Juliana there, fine. They're both better champions. But I don't know that they're better enough to, for them to be really worth it. I think when you pull a legendary, you'll get ninja. Yeah, I hope so. But again, yeah, Juliana wouldn't fit a two-for-one team. She would just fit this type of nothing team that I've got going on right now. Should I replace my ninja with Geo in my Ultra Nightmare Unkillable comp whilst I finish booking out ninja? I mean, both good, honestly. If you're going to last long into a fight, Geo... I don't know. They're both, they're both extremely good, man. I... I don't know the answer. Both really good. Geo needs a lot less gear to be good. Is what I would say. Ninja needs better gear, but still is is damn insane. HH, I tell you, I just built Lady Annabelle. She's amazing. Not for clan boss, though, right? I, I get that she is good. I've got a few champions that do similar sort of things to Lady Annabelle. I know she's good. I just really wanted a better clan boss champion. That that was my thing. I really I really want to comfortably beat Nightmare and start moving towards Ultra Nightmare and I'm just nowhere near it at the moment. Nowhere near it. Do you know when the new update is coming? I think next week, George. I think next week. Um, right. Let's get sent on the chat and um, find out how the other half play this game. <laughs> By the other half, I mean the very small proportion of big spenders. So uh, let's see if he is good to go. Uh, in fact, first thing I'm going to log into his account so we get ourselves set up. And then we'll grab him on chat to uh, talk through how he handles Raid Shadow Legends. Okay. Uh, Sen, if you're listening, can I grab a code from you, mate, please? Hey, Smurf and Blue, thank you for joining the members, mate. Can't believe it's been a month. How was it? Nice. Um, Christopher started playing Raid exactly one year ago for the first seven months. Never pulled a Lego, apart from free ones, really. Yeah. Were you playing it actively for those seven months, Christopher? Thanks for the super chat, by the way, mate. Okay, we're getting into Sense Account. Good stuff. Right. Quick. Trash the account. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. That's not what we do here. Right, let's kill the music. Let's get him on. Hello. Hey, Sent, how you doing? 
Hey, man. Doing all right, doing all right. How's it going? I do not hear you. Which is weird, because I can see that you're making noise. One sec. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear ah, me? Ah, here we go. Good. I can hear you as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Perfect, perfect. How you doing? Oh, uh, well, it's Friday and uh, it's got off a work call, so... <laughs> what what time is it for you there? It's uh, 12.30, right in the middle of lunchtime. Oh, okay. So you're, you're bang in the middle of your work day. Yeah, I uh, decided to work from home today, so lucky I have the, the opportunity or the option, I guess, to do so. Yeah, nice. So is this what you, f you find yourself doing like during work? Just, you know, hopping onto a stream, playing a bit of raid? Um. <laughs> uh, kind of. It depends. Um, uh, when it's like a, a dead period, I guess, I, I don't do that as much. Um, but with the release of, you know, the hard dungeons, especially Fire Night 10, I have been trying to sneak as much time as I can <laughs> at yeah, work to, yeah. uh, uh, to just work through things. So I guess let's, let's just start with your journey in Raiden. By the way, I noticed um, you picked up the first pack here. Did you know yeah. that this was going to be a one or three? Were you thinking this just gets you straight into this? When you yeah, this I, uh, I missed that. I missed the one of three. So I got to admit, they, they got me on that one. Yeah, and that's cheeky, isn't it? That's, that's... It was it's very cheeky, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like a that new way sad. of being a bit dodgy. Um, is, even as a, as a whale or a kraken, uh, whatever you guys want to call me, it's... Uh... A little, little salty about that one, not going to lie. Yeah, like you're thinking, oh, this is a quick quick way to this, which is not bad. Um, nope. But actually, you got to get do it twice more first. Um, so what would you class yourself as here, Sen? Are you, are you, would you say you are a Kraken, or, or do you think Dolphin? Why? Or like, where, where would you put yourself? I mean, I joke about it, that I'm a minnow or a Dolphin. Um, <laughs> I probably, uh, I, I guess, Kraken, uh, realistically. Yeah. After I, mean, I started playing, I think right around the Krila fusion. Uh, Which fusion, fusion, sorry? The Krila. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was what, three years ago? I think right around three years yeah, ago. Yeah, it must be about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's when I started. And I was free to play for, for a bit, actually. But, you know, I was drawn to the game because, because of the challenges, because of the combinations you can do in dungeons. And, and then I, I'm competitive. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and I started progressing, and um, you know I fell into the trap of you know you want more, you want to do better, you want to get faster leaderboards. So probably within I say twenty twenty one or so is kind of when I went like full cracking. And had you played any game like this before, or you know what was your kind of gaming background before raid? Uh, first person shooters, mostly okay. shooters. <laughs> what 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 games? Um, I don't know if anybody here will know, but back in the day, I played a lot of original Planet Side. Yes, okay. And then Planet yeah. Side 2, played a lot of like CS, CSGO. Um, I did play a little League of Legends, actually, during like Alpha and Beta. So you never played like the World of Warcraft, that type of stuff? Not, not that style not, of game, no? Not, not the really. MMOs? No. I, I tried World of Warcraft, wasn't a huge fan. Um, did play Star Wars Old Republic for quite a bit. A lot of EVE Online, actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I tr you know what? I tried at Eve Online, and I didn't properly get into it. But I know some people that got into it like insanely deep, and you know, were trying to like infiltrate other people's, um, I guess alliances or whatever it was in, yep. in that game. But like they were like a, a year undercover trying to break into this alliance to like bring it down from the inside. It was it was quite fascinating, honestly. It's like, the, it's a crazy style game. of gameplay. Yeah, but it's basically a second job. I mean, it, you, you yeah. know, you guys think raid is bad. Um, getting deep into Eve was. <laughs> I was always yeah. worried we were going to get raided and and all my stuff was going to disappear and I had to start over. It was just it was a wreck. Because I think that's why I stopped playing. I only played for a couple of weeks or something, and I, I, it's so long ago I can't remember. I'm pretty sure just like my ships or whatever got blown up or wrecked, and I was like, right, I'm basically starting again. Yep. And I'm only a couple of weeks in. I'm not like properly invested at this point. I'm gone. Like it was, it was too much. Yeah, it's um, spreadsheets in space. Right? It is. Yeah. It kinda, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Is. Okay. So, so raid then. I mean, what attracted you to raid? It feels like your background is not games that look like raid or you know that type of stuff. What attracted you to raid? <laughs> um. So I have to admit, raids marketing and, and PR is at least they they kind of know what they're doing. You know, I saw it so much. 
and I heard so many people talking about it, whether good or bad. One day I just said, you know what, what the hell? Let me at least give it a shot. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I like, I grew up with Pokemon and, and Digimon, and I, I like the, I guess, catch them all aspect of it too, which sure. contributes to my, my shard pulling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So would you class yourself as a collect the collector then? Is that 100%? Kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, but RNG is, you know, give it an RNG take it, right? So it's, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's what's, what's your kind of like your champion that you most want right now that you don't own? Ooh. Or, or do you have that, or do you have actually, I'd m much rather get a plus four of this than anyone I don't own right now? Um, I mean, obviously, I would love plus four Marichka and Terrace, right? But that's far off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> probably not already. Yeah, I have the, I have the duo. Yeah, um, nice. No Nutcracker, you know, I need more multiple Necrits, right? I only still have one Duchess. At least I'm doing better than Sensi, but still only one Duchess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty so nice. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's, I'm just looking for empowerment, especially, like I said, with the hard dungeons and the, um, I guess, Hydra coming out. Yeah. I, I just need more stats across the board. And no, I see you've got no Harima. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> Were you all in during the, the kind of recent uh, 10 times event? Yeah, I, uh, I pulled quite a bit for her. Um, I know, probably in the neighborhood. I mean, not quite a bit. Depends who you're talking to, I guess. But probably a couple of thousand ancients. A uh, couple of thousand, yeah. Because I was pretty sad. I, I reckon I pulled, what did I do? A thousand, maybe? I did a lot. Anyway, for me, it was an awful lot. And I was pretty sad at the end of that weekend. Bear in mind, it was a two times as well. And I, I ended up pulling like 15 legendaries and no Harima. That's kind um, of how it went for me, too, yeah. And all the yeah. legendaries I got were just absolute trash, unfortunately. Right. And are you thinking Mishinaki definitely going to pick her up, uh, pick him up this weekend? I don't know. I, I've been I've been talking to my clan and cluster about it, and I'm trying to figure out where else to use him. I guess besides would he make a difference Hydra. to you in terms of like content? Um, I mean, like yeah, with Hydra, I'm you know I'm autoing yeah, what is it, brutal hard or hard brutal nightmare, and overkilling it by quite a bit already. So it's I, I don't know if he's going to be great for the next tier. Yeah, this is your auto nightmare team, is it? Auto nightmare team. Yeah. 202 mil. <laughs> I mean, it's, Man. yeah, double, double Krizia does um, yeah. stupid amounts of damage. I think if you expand it, you can probably see the breakdown. I think they probably did like 70 something million each, is my guess. Yeah, damn. That's actually insane. Are these particular, for every build you've got here, is it always. That build is specifically done for this content, or do you have some which kind of flex across a, a bunch of stuff? Yeah, that's a good question. So usually I, I try to keep builds locked as much as possible. Uh, I haven't been able to recently, again, due to the Fire Knight 10 challenge, I've had to rebuild a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, so this team actually right now is not optimized just because Cardio isn't running enough resistance. Uh, so sometimes okay. he would still get the uh, you know buff stolen or whatnot. Um, usually everyone on that team would have like 400 plus resistance, 450 resistance. Yeah. Um, but that's just not happening right now. So the auto didn't, I mean, it went okay. Could have gone better. Um, it's just, and that's the challenge I'm, I'm facing right now is I want more, you know, more dupes just so I can lock them into specific dungeons or content or whatever. I, I hate changing gear around. <laughs> it's, okay. Yeah. It's, it's just a pain. Do you think right now as a, a kind of self-professed Kraken, would you say you spend more on shards or um, soul stones right now? Ooh. So to be fair, I've slowed down for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I, just, I I'm not actually sure what to spend on. Uh, to, to your point, um, you know, I've spent quite a bit on on souls, and you know, you can see I have a few like six star souls. Yeah. Um, but that that wish Some pretty like, nice ones, well, actually, yeah, seems kind of useless. <laughs> I think I've hit like the, my wish list once, uh, so it's it's been a little eh. And then I've mostly yeah. been blowing on energy lately. Just I probably chucked thirty thirty five k into Fire Knight ten just on testing alone. Just uh, um, thirty five what thousand dollars you're saying there? No 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 thirty five thousand energy. Oh bloody hell! I was like no what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally no, no. almost uh, lost it for a second there. Okay, thirty five thousand energy. What just? What, because you're trying to perfect the team? 
Yeah, you know, I, we're trying to get a, and I got to give a quick shout out to, to all the other guys and just the small cord we have, but, you know, we got guys like SOS in there and Splitzy and Callus that, you know, you were on his account and Pavo and we're trying to figure out, yeah, and, and you know, no energy and we're, we're trying to figure out just how to make it consistent and right. not take years. Um, yes. So I have like yeah. a pretty consistent team at the moment. It's like a 97, 98% win rate, but then it's like two, two and a half minutes. And I'm trying to get something under two minutes. Yeah. Well, and, and is that what you'd say is like a, an acceptable pace to farm? Like two, under two minutes for you is acceptable if, for like late game content? <sighs> it's pretty mm. tough, isn't it? Like it's someone like tough. yourself that wants to run thousands of energy and, and improve your gear from where you are. And yeah, we're talking about someone who's got really good gear. So basically it's got to be mythical really, isn't it? Or at least legendary with good stats. Yeah, pretty much. It's you know I have a cell file I use through RSL Helper that's relatively strict, um, and out of that, what thirty thirty five k energy testing, I've kept maybe I don't know six pieces, and none of them have been mythical yet. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, it was kind of a kind of a kick, and yeah, it's it's I like the challenge, but it has been frustrating. You know, I will say I'm pretty sure that boss is a little overtuned. So, in yeah. My opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's that's how I feel about it as well. It feels like the other ones, considering they're they're gonna push it eventually to level twenty five, the other bosses all feel doable but harder. Maybe not spider. Spider perhaps feels a little bit under, but um, I think the rest of them are just they hit harder, so they're harder to manage. Yeah. Um, but finite. I mean, maybe let's have a look. Let's have a look at your finite team in action, and we can come back and kind of talk through some builds. Yeah, sure. Or do you want to do you want to come to find out perhaps last? Do you want to look at some of the other teams first? Yeah, yeah. Well, we can we can hit up some of the other ones first, maybe, and um, up to you. Maybe so we can start from the ice golems, I guess, and just go over if you want. So you're farming stage ten. <laughs> is this is this a meme or is this your actual team here? Is this the team you use? Yeah, this is the team I use. So this is the champion that everyone says is awful, right? I honestly, I'm not, I'm not sure. I use using her for her passive. She's not booked yet. So that time, the average time should go down. Um, mostly just using her for, for the passive. When, okay. when, you know, when she gets hit by someone that's burning, it'll activate the burn on them. So uh, the whole, I, yeah. I, I guess the whole idea behind this is, you know, I nuke the waves, right? You're at the boss in what, 10 seconds. And then you just let uh, the burns do their work. You just have to kind of survive. So, Seal, you've got how many buffs here? You're ripping off eight buffs, but still clear the way. That's because you've got, I guess that's a six star um, blessing, yeah? Yeah, six star is just, it's utter. I actually could nerf my, I nerfed my Seer build uh, quite a bit. I just didn't need all, all that crit damage. Yeah. And obviously, Walking Tomb, because he's got the irresistible burn, he's got the ability yep. to activate it. And then Tuha is actually pretty key here. I mean, the, Decreased attack is huge. Um, yeah. Passive cleanse for when you do get 3%, because the 3% is really like more like 30%. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then just, you know, increased speed, increased defense. She just, she brings a lot to this. And then I do use her in one of my Hydra teams. Well, I think for like Brutal, I use her as okay. well in there. Or maybe Hard Eye, that's one of those. Is, do you farm... Ice Golem at all if it's not an event running? Is it a set, like the sets here? Is it, are they important to you? So I think uh, before, not so much. You know, I, I think everyone kind of felt like Ice Golem was a meme. Uh, lately, I found myself craving faster reflex sets. Yeah. When I say faster, I'm, I'm talking like 350, 360 plus in reflex. Well, what content like... is that? So this is, this is to do with the Fire Knight 10 testing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you find that? Like... I guess before all of the plus four in and, and all that stuff came along, I was quite, I, I was probably playing like you play now in that, you know, I absolutely needed to get myself some more six star glyphs because I wanted that extra whatever resistance or speed or, or build on my arena team. You know, this was back when I was trying to play at the, the highest level mm -hmm. and it was almost like obsessive. Like I can't wait for the reset of faction wars because I'm, I'm going to try and get better glyphs again today sort of thing. And do you find you're in that spot now in terms of trying to get your finite team working 100%, better? 100% still, yeah. I, uh, 
you know, I'm looking for, I think I have like a four or five star um, Phantom Touch on Stagnite, right? I'm, I'm looking for like a, the six star for the consistency. Yeah. Same with like Cardio. Um, I want more dupes of him. I want more dupes of, you know, Acrisia. Sure. And that's what keeps me going in, in the game. You know, I think yeah. probably two things keep me going after three years is, uh, one is the aspect that we've been talking about, and, and then two is just the community. Yeah. Aside yeah. from your community, which I've been part of for a decent while, the cluster and the clan I've, I've found have been great. You know, NZ, like Nazarek, and they're awesome guys, and they help a lot with all this theory crafting. There's a lot of smart guys in there. I think a couple of them have been on other content creators or showcases for like Sand Devil when that came out and whatnot as well. So okay, so so how many of you are kind of like actively in this kind of theory crafting group? Would you say? Ooh, is it like a whole clan or is it is it kind I'd of say like probably maybe like ten of us that are are relatively serious about it? Yeah, um, everyone pitches in. We'll give ideas, and sometimes you get the craziest idea from somebody who's even newer to the game, right? And they just yeah. They're looking at a champion that we don't look at because <laughs> we just completely forgot about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's actually always quite nice. Actually, when someone comes in and just opens your eyes to something else, it's a bit like when the Infinity team for Clan Boss came about, and it's like, ah, no one's oh, thought yeah. about this, or you know, kind of really tried to work through it. Um, see, pretty much oh, everybody yeah. is in regen gear. I'll be the first to admit too, you know, that I'm not big brained like a lot of them. <laughs> Um, like the guys I mentioned before, and then like you know, including like Saf and stuff there, and Winston right there, they're yeah. probably much smarter than I am. You know, I uh, I'm kind of a brute when it comes to some of this. So I'll just throw on some some good gear and just try to overpower it, <laughs> and sure. brute force my way through it. Uh, well, I I find like I I won't necessarily come up with the new idea, but I like refining ideas that are already out there to uh, as as good a level as I can. So I, I won't necessarily come up with a, a speed tune, but I, I'm quite good at seeing something working and then trying to improve it i think i'm i'm, I'm more like that too yeah more in your same boat <laughs> oh damn <laughs> dude we got two two burn plus ignite then a smack nice nice i guess this is one that most people are finding easier to farm but at least this team here is not nerfable i guess yeah i think, um, I think it's relatively safe what's with What's the Calvalax, um benefit here? Just he's not hitting it. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's uh, just putting out putting out poisons, and then the speed aura um, helps. Do you actively need in his poison to ever to gain more damage? Yeah, just more damage. Yeah. And then mostly the speed, the nineteen percent speed helps a lot because my Crizia is actually too slow, and right. sometimes it if it doesn't go it. How that happens and you'll end up running in like a 25 second run yeah um, but it's still 100 percent. i don't think i've seen it fail off after a couple thousand runs okay nice yeah. is that still a big chunk of your kind of energy goes into spider or not so much anymore not so much i am kind of my, i'm pretty low on silver so i am gearing up for like a probably like pretty, another pretty low okay well <laughs> you know <laughs> low, low, guys he's low. pretty low on silver <laughs> Usually it should be closer to like double that. So I, wow. I've, I've blown so much on testing. It's I've blown like probably three and four hundred million in the last like two weeks just on regearing and rolling stuff up. Um, <laughs> it's been disgusting. Yeah. Just just out of interest, do you do Iron Twins daily? I used to, not anymore. It's just if I'm gonna use um, my energy, I'd rather use it even on testing. And if I'm gonna do Iron Twins, honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna to buy the packs just buy the souls yeah i, I yeah. was curious about it because i was religiously doing this it was actually the first thing i did on my main account daily to because tr i'm not really buying the soul packs mm -hmm. but i'm missing tons of souls um but it does feel like it's just such low return for your energy and and time it's terrible yeah. it's yeah it's awful it, i only time i farm it is on um was it like the, the void day like saturday nights i guess for me yeah that's poor isn't it and I guess Sandel, you're pretty active in, are you, to to ascend your gear? Yeah, yeah. So I have a Sand Devil team um, as well. A couple teams actually set up for it. Who's and your? The... Who would you say your kind of favorite champion is in the game? Do you have one? Ooh, it's eight seconds onto the boss there. Damn. Yeah, I think my my favorite champion would probably honestly be. 
uh, I would say Lissandra. I don't even use her anymore, but right. she was my, my first one. Yeah. Um, so just kind of, a, she got me through a lot. You know, she carried me through a lot early game, mid game. Always have a soft spot for her. This is a cool team. I like this. Yeah. So my record run is actually with a double Acrisia team. Right. Um, but that's re it's again it's reliant on like relentless procs, um, refresh, and this is just a lot safer and a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stolters here is. Um... Borderline broken, right? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw from Saf's video he doesn't even need accuracy to do this. Is that right? Is yeah, that I mean, I if check, yeah. If you check my gear, I think it's just this is like leftover regen gear, just enough to so he doesn't die. Like that's literally all he's built for. <laughs> literally a tank build. Yeah, literally yeah, a tank. Just, yeah. Whatever I had left over. Um, in no, fact, uh, the amount of um, builds you've got in Relentless Gear here is kind of crazy. It's, from what we've seen so far, Relentless is, uh, not Relentless, sorry, um, what's this gear? The regen. Re regen. Regen gear. For your dungeon running, you, so, f so far I've seen, what, like, seven or eight builds, regen? Yeah, regen's been, uh, I, I think the value went up um, with these hard dungeons. You know, it's just, it, you need so many stats otherwise just to survive, right? And all the dungeon bosses are so damn fast now. Yeah. Um, it's only going to get worse. So un unless, it, I, I'm, I'm guessing the Live Arena update will, will change some of that, you know, with um, the added stats. But yeah, unless you're running some crazy, insane speeds, uh, you're, you're going to need some so, sort of built-in survivability for a lot of this. So this, as far as I know, is, is one of the best, times out there one of the best teams out there for finite hard 10 at the moment and interestingly i mean it, it still involves a rare cold heart and you know a pretty staple epic so what's your thinking here so do you think there's there's kind of other champions to bring into the mix or do you think this is now best best in slot five as you've seen it or my account this is probably the best team um, at the moment um it, it's hard the boss demands so much from your team right so you yeah. need the fact that it, at the speed it is the the 21 hits and then even before getting to the boss you need some sort of good wave clear and then if your wave clear isn't lined up perfectly so all your cooldowns are down at the boss you're gonna wipe instantly pretty much after he takes his first turn yeah but then if you're too slow on the waves in that second wave Riho is actually the biggest one of the biggest problems in this dungeon. She'll just straight up nuke anybody on your team. Sure. Um, so Cardio and Valk have seemed pretty staple. Running I have seen, you know, some of our other friends have run teams without them with double ally attack even. No heal reduction. Um, but they're slower, they're not as safe. Yeah. Because the it's challenge we got here is we don't really have an ally attacker who's bring in some of the other things that you need like yeah. if there was one that brought aoe decreased defense for example then at least you've got a chance but i don't know it just doesn't feel like there's enough going on so you've no. got before the boss has a turn you've got obviously the valk shields and counter attack mm -hmm. but basically you're trying to wipe out as much of the 21 hits as you can yep so you tank the first hit everybody counter attacks um, the speeds are tuned at the moment right now for like hold heart to counter attack and then immediately take another turn again. And then Valk should be able, the ally attack here should break the shield. And if we're lucky, it'll get all the debuffs on. So we weren't lucky. We missed the heal reduction this, this run. Right. This is already going to take a lot longer. And is, is it just uh, cardio that's healing you here? Yep. That's just, just cardio. And I guess you must have re you got regen gear on some of these as well. No, no regen on on anybody. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's just so that's like this is the trick is taking the shield down quick enough. Um, trying to outlast them, in our opinion, isn't gonna work. Yeah, we've tried, and he'll just end up nuking you, just decreasing your your max HP, and it just takes forever. Um, sure. My philosophy has always been kill everything before it can kill you. So I'm just trying to apply <laughs> yeah. that here as well. Yeah. 
And I guess here, like, Acrisia is just doing so much of the work in terms of damage once that shield is down. Yep. Yeah, he probably would have been dead already um, if heal reduction from Cold Heart had gone on. Yeah. And that's the other frustrating thing about this boss. It's, it, for whatever reason, and we've come in this group, we've probably dumped 200k, 250k energy into this testing. And it seems like the, the chance to land all your buffs is so much lower than it usually is. It's insane. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Cold Heart and Stagnite miss their debuffs constantly with all the right masteries and accuracy you know, requirements. And it just yeah. never works. Yeah, that's annoying. And what, what's your view? Because obviously they've built this boss with the idea of we want people to try and run freeze. Do you think that's even viable at kind of like stage 10 stuff? I feel like freeze is um, kind of a trap. I'm actually waiting for Callus to test out his double plus four your, your Carl team. I think he tried okay. it on stage, stage nine. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he said it would work on stage 10. Um, but I, I kind of feel like it's kind of a trap. It, it doesn't really... There's no one that's really consistent, right? Yeah. For the freeze. Or, or brings enough of, of anything else. You kind of need... You kind of need someone that's got a kit similar to Valk that's got, you know, a strong chance to freeze on the A1 with a multi-hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's a lot to throw into a kit, yeah? Counter-attack, big shields, freeze, and multi-hit. You, you need a lot. And at the moment, I don't think the champions really exist. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a good point. You know, it's, we've been talking, and my opinion is they're getting ready to drop another what dozen champions on us and they're must-haves for hard dungeon content <laughs> yeah that's probably going to be the way it goes how do you feel about that bearing in mind your your account's pretty damn you know slammed with big champions do you like the idea of new champions coming out or does it almost make you feel like oh crap i'm going to be throwing another load of cash at the game uh a little bit of a a bit of b you know i uh from a business perspective you know, I, I look at it, I'm like, man, if I was in your shoes, I'd probably be doing the same damn thing and just yeah. rolling in my dough. From a player yeah, perspective, yeah. definitely not a huge fan. Um, but I am excited about what options that the new champions will bring. Yeah. So knowing me, yeah, I'm probably going to go for it. Because I guess, like, it's, it's almost a bit, a bit both sides, isn't it? Like, it's fun. Whenever we get new champions, it's fun to see what they bring out. But it doesn't mean that you, you want to go and burn a load more cash. Exactly. Um, yeah. And it's just, and champion pools are so ridiculously, you know, saturated now, right? Yeah. It's just, um, it's just, it's just dumb. And Acrisia, you know, is pretty key here uh, just to kill the boss fast enough. The other people are running a, you can just sell that. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like to, just in case you're, you're looking for something I'm not. <laughs> Let's have a look at your um, build for Acrisia. So the, so the 155 time, again, is with like Relentless Acrisia. So this is okay. my Savage Acrisia. Uh, so this is more consistent, but yeah. the Relentless one's giving you the best time, yeah. Yep. But yeah, this is definitely more, way more consistent. But I'd say it's not, it's not like an obscene build here. Oh, it's a lot of crit damage. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely achievable. I, mean, I don't think this is um, crazy, crazy. Um, just got to make sure you have enough accuracy as well. And you've got, what, one Cardiel? Uh, I have two Cardiel. So I have one that's um, like an untouchable resist build, the plus one right there. Yeah. And then I have the other one that's used for mostly for PvE content um, somewhere down below. Well, 800 resistance here. That's your what arena setup one? Uh, yeah, for one of my couple of my arena teams. How how active are you in kind of like plat reset stuff? Um, relatively active. I with the time change now, it's harder for me. Um, I was pretty active for a while. I, I do like pushing plat um, and seeing the new teams. Sheep kind of made me not as excited for things, and then the Ukrainian duo was just really strong. Even having yeah. them, I'm still like. Eh. You've got a Taras here. He's running at 138 speed. He, this is your actual arena build, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's my arena Taras. So the idea is what? You just run a very slow team, wait for them to take a turn, and then you blow them up? Pretty much, yeah. As long as you 
get your buffs up. Um, I run him in a couple different team comps. Sometimes yeah. I run him with like my Siffy and Warlord for like a um, fast lockout. Sometimes I just run it with like triple revive or um, you know high res cleansers or whatever the case may be. Whatever is, yeah. is, is annoying. Lately, I've I've been kind of just like trolling or memeing in arena. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So not not so much um, seriousness, I guess. Uh, mostly like focused on just trying to perfect Fire Knight Ten at the moment. Yeah. How 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 much would you say you play this game on like a you know an, an average day? Oh, the cardio's right there. By the way, I think you kind of passed them. Um, whew. lately probably a couple hours every night. Couple, oh, not too bad then. Not like it's it's like crazy, crazy obsessive. No, no, not it used to be. It used to be more. I've toned down yeah. a lot. Yeah, I've toned down a lot. So um, we've got a couple of questions here. I don't know if you want to answer this. Up to you. How much did you spend on raid? Do you want to answer that? Um, <laughs> most, most people don't. <laughs> I will say I have spent enough on raid to buy a very nice car. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Are we Audi talking the Lambo? Mercedes. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And um. So when Live Arena comes out, is that something that you're quite keen for? Yes and no. The time kind of. I don't know about the time, random time slots. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to work for me. I am excited just because I'll get more stats to push the hard dungeons. So yeah. that should probably, you know, do do pretty well. Um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of very lukewarm on it. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually quite excited for it. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it. If they, if they implement it quite well, then I think it would be cool. I personally feel like the ban phase shouldn't be right at the end. I think it should be like midway right. through selection because at least that way you yeah. can adapt what you're doing. Um, Were you thinking more like a League of Legends ban phase? A little bit. Just I'm thinking like if you've got to pick five, if the ban comes right at the end, it means that you've got to draft, let's say, two damage dealers, yeah, because you can't draft one, otherwise, right, you can't hit, you can't hit anyone. Exactly. Um, yeah, and so the, those type of things, like depending on what type of team you want to build. If you want to build a speed team, you've got to draft two speed champions. Like, it doesn't make sense. So for me, if the if the ban was like maybe you have three picks, someone is banned, and then you got two more picks, that makes more sense to me because at least you can flex the last two picks to what you need. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I like the idea of the live arena. I like the idea of actually facing an opponent rather than no, an AI. For sure. But yeah, it's and I've seen a couple of games do it well, and that that sounds quite exciting. But the only thing for me is, like I let's say I'm fi I'm fighting against you, right? Mm -hmm. And inherently, I would have to be just a better player than you to stand a chance. I think, but like I'd have to draft better than you. I'd have to outthink you because I, I I'm straight outgeared by you, and I, I'm out blessing by you and i'm outplussed by you, you know like stats wise i just i'm not in the same ballpark which makes arena quite off-putting for a lot of people i think yeah 100 percent. i've heard that from you know even people in our cluster um saying the same thing and i don't disagree it is kind of yeah but it, like you said player skill i guess knowledge might hopefully come into play a lot more so that could maybe shake things up yeah um, yeah it's got to feel nice, too, you know, if you're going up against someone that clearly outgears you or outstats you, and then you end up winning. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess you know, it's no different from Plat Reset right now. There's, there's people that get top or high level in Plat that perhaps don't have the gear as others by coming up with good concepts. Um, it's just, I, I don't know, when, when champions like Taras and Mariska come out and they're clearly of a different level from the rest, it makes it... I don't know, just for me, it alienates that game mode more and more. Like, I used to really love Arena. But it was probably my favorite thing to do. I absolutely was pushing all of my builds towards trying to be as good in Arena as I could. And as the games move more and more towards different ways to empower, which, oh, let's be honest, like, they're really expensive, right? If, if, mm -hmm. Bear in mind, I would say I'm a whale, and I've got like two plus four champions. In fact, you know, yourself, you don't have that many unless you've yeah. got a bunch hiding out. No. 
So even yourself, like you're probably a long way from even some of the, the really top arena players in terms of like spend and stuff like that. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> I, I know the amounts that some of them have spent. Um and even with our cluster, some of the amounts that people have spent, and it's easily three to four times what I have spent. Yeah. And I've so done we're talking a, a three to four amount. Lambos now. Yeah, um, you're talking about you're talking about probably buying buying a house, a couple of houses. <laughs> yeah. Um, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. No, it's 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 disgusting. I mean, it's. I will say I don't regret it. You know, I mean, I've I've yeah. I I That's put fair. my budget for entertainment, I guess, towards this right more in the last like couple of years. Um, yeah. I play with cars a lot too, and I'll tell you guys, cars are a lot more expensive than raids. Still, at the end of the day. <laughs> really, what what type of thing do you do? What? Uh, I used to not so much now. I used to be a huge track. I go to the track a lot. Um, I like building cars. Usually, have multiple cars at a time. And okay. Um, yeah, so it's you know when you're going through a set of tires, you know every day at the track, a couple grand yeah. here, a couple grand there. It's it's a lot worse than this. Yeah, sure. Do, uh, what do you do for a job? Are you able to say, or do you have have a company or something? How are you? How are you kind of yeah. bankrolling all this stuff? So um, my I guess my official title is BPM. So I'm a business program manager for one of the world's largest contract manufacturers. Okay. Um, so my clients, you know, include a lot of the Fortune or like top 100 companies uh, globally, and we make all their stuff essentially. So, okay, I'm nice. essentially a highly paid babysitter, and I just yell at everybody on cross-functional teams to kind of get their stuff <laughs> together and, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> do their jobs. Good. Yeah, I'm sure you you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I do, but <laughs> yeah. Well, um. Well, look, really, is, is there any builds that you particularly are kind of like, yeah, you should check out this build before we, we wrap things up? Um, I mean, you know, everyone's, I think, kind of seen my Sippy now. Um, she's fast. She's definitely not, like, the fastest, but she's definitely up there. Yeah, this um, is, um, I mean, this is, like, gross to me. Yeah, I mean, and to me, that's, like, still slow, unfortunately, compared to some of the others. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Like, I think my fastest champion I could build right now would be still under 400 speed which and i used to be up there as having a fast champion this is what makes me sad <laughs> like i'm so far behind and it's absurd like 400 speed is mental and then um i my road is you know i i kind of like to i do use them still quite a bit in arena tag and um and reset as well the tri I mean, Rodus is actually, I think, pretty hard to build. A lot of people think he's relatively easy, but you know, you want to balance some HP as well, and then you want him fast. Right? You want to be able to kill someone, rotate his abilities. Um, oh, interesting! So he's That's actually really... surprisingly hard. This build, build is actually crazy. This is a crazy build, actually. That yeah, speed I'm... with that, like, this is probably as as much damage as I could put on someone if I was running at two hundred speed. That is madness. Yeah, I'm still missing some glyphs. So with some glyphage on some other pieces, I could actually get them to like 285 or so um, with a bit more attack. I'm just waiting for the speed glyphs to hit. You've not even like landed what I would class as like best in slot for things like the, the Ascension. No, my Ascensions for him are trash. They're all defense. Like every single one is defense based. So yeah. he ends up being kind of chonky. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess actually for Rotus, he's still not a bad thing to... Yeah, but defense is not really what you want, is it? HP is probably the one you want to go for because yep, that's what scale well, better. Like yeah. a sixty k HP Rotus it would have been great, but I got like a three point two, three point four k defense Rotus. So that's madness. Oh. Like the amount of stats here, which are through the roof, is actually crazy. Very high health, extremely high attack, high defense, high speed, crit capped, three thirty eight crit damage, and you've got good stats elsewhere. It's kind of Oh, that is absurd. That is absurd. Yeah, he's uh, the, the the original, I guess, OP duo with him and Siffy is still one of my one of my favorites too. Yeah, um, I'm still waiting on a six star blessing for him. So conceivably, with the six star blessing plus if I my glyphs land, I can get him closer to 300 speed, which is kind of my goal for him. Um, yeah, yeah. Plus four Crisk. I don't know if you want to take a look at is for Hydra. So that's also uh, the Crisk is relatively fast. Um, oh yeah, with res and accuracy needed, and then uh, yes, the crit Very rate tanky. is at seventy seventy five percent because I use them with cardio, and I do know that 
he does get more damage from it. Uh, but with double Crizia, you kill everything so fast, it yeah. doesn't really matter. He doesn't really take that many hits. Do you use Baron as a nuka in Arena? Yeah, I still use Baron. Yeah, you can check out the Baron build too. Um, oh, nearly 9k attack. What is going on on this account? 9k. Yeah, I use Baron still against the, a lot of like anti-shield teams. Yeah. So what's, what's kind of like your fastest clear team for Arena? What, what would be your go-to? Uh, lately, I've been messing around with a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, Siffy with the duo is, is, you know, as long as they get a turn, it's pretty fast. Uh, honestly, surprisingly, I still use my Cupidus team a lot. Uh, you? Just to, yeah. like, farm random stuff. Um, if there's, like, no Mordu or whatever, it's just AoE. Just, I just kind of let him sit there and tank the hits and kill everyone. Like, yeah. Counterattacks. Um, but yeah, I've, it, with the reset, the way it is now, I'm kind of, like, maybe taking a break-ish. For oh, yeah. a little bit. Um, Have you played around with any kind of Turvold um, one-shot type of builds? Not not yet. I mean, I do have that six-star Blessing Turvold. He's in my yeah. CB team currently, so his gear is kind of like, eh. Um, but uh, I, I might, I might take though, him out. <laughs> yeah. I might take him out and, and mess with him a little bit. Yeah. I, I actually, so I got, I think I got five-star Turvold, and there was a six-star in the shop. And I needed like 300 of the gold essence. And I had like 140 or something. It's like, it's a very sad day. I really wanted it. <laughs> oh man, it's, I've, I've had times like that where I look at it and I see the packs and I'm trying to figure out, man, can I get enough from the packs? I went for yeah. it and I missed it by like two. And I was <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. No. Oh, and I don't know if you want to show um, Sand Devil as well. Somebody was asking oh, yeah. about that. Yeah, so do you farm what, 25? Uh, yeah. Actually, not that dissimilar from mine. I don't own Riho. So this is the safer team. Um, the speed team, again, is taking out the Kaimar and putting in the second Acrisia for double Acrisia. Right. So you say safer. What? What's the risk of doing that? Um, with with having oh, a double Crizier in here, why why is that risky? I'm trying to think if the other team was taking out Kaimar or was it taking out? Maybe it was taking out Duchess. I we can check the team reset. Yeah, it probably but... would be Duchess, wouldn't it? Because I, I think it's got... Duchess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because then I don't have um the the revive. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, possibly. So actually, I turn off my Crizier's um like the turn meter stuff. The Oh yeah, Sorry, I just, just nuke it still. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it, man. So if you've got second one built in here. Yeah, Chagur, I think, is actually a really cool champion too. I, I wish there was like more use for him. I ran like a kind of like a meme defense with him in Arena, which caught a lot of people in Gold 5, which was kind of funny. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I use Chagur in mind. Obviously, he's not 100%, is he? That's That's his... Yeah, that's Problem. that's the issue. Like this is a probably gonna be a wipe here because he already missed his uh not a wipe, but it's gonna be a very long run. We've got the poison on there, should be okay, shouldn't it? Yeah. It's like if everything lines up perfectly. I mean that's the thing with a lot of these record runs too. It's like everything yeah. has to line up absolutely perfectly. And it's not I guess realistic. I actually prefer to build teams that are hundred percent rather than just really fast. Yeah, because I guess with some of the like the actual world record type of runs, that type of stuff for dungeons, a lot of it relies on refresh accessories and that type of stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're rocking three refresh, you know, and or relentless plus three refresh. And yeah, everything's going absolutely perfectly. I mean, they're probably running 10, 20k energy to get like that one perfect run. They yeah. they just will never tell you that. <laughs> no, and that's it. That's a side you don't see. Yeah. Uh, are you are you actually a record holder for any of the stuff now? Um, depends on like I guess which leaderboard um, you're going off of. I think if you're going off of RSL leaderboard Discord, um, I think I hold Fire Knight at the moment. Yeah. And then I'm third for Dragon and Ice Golem. I think I'm fourth. Right. Um, fighter. There's a bunch of people that are 
all around 10 seconds, so. This is where, um, <laughs> stuff like this is where the power of a Crizia just comes in, isn't it? Like, yeah. have you had anyone else change your account as much as when a Crizia joined your, your account? Ooh, for PvE, definitely not. Yeah, so absurd. This is actually a little bit slower, too, um, right now. I'm using a Crizia. Before, I was using Septimus, actually. It was Would quicker you? through yeah. the waves. And then Seer would nuke the boss. And then uh, Septimus would nuke after that. That was actually faster. But Septimus is naked, I think, right now. I think I stole his gear for something else. Yeah. <laughs> the, the day Septimus became kind of irrelevant was a sad day, I think. He's really cool still. I think he's still useful in some like this PvE, like speedrunning stuff. But um, yeah, it's, he's a cool guy. I, I, I wouldn't mind more of him, too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, up um Harvo in the in the chat he said Arcelin has got 124 plus four champions on his account. Yeah, Arcelin's nuts. That's pa Pavel's Pavel's giving me crap on in our other Discord right now too. Oh really? Well for yeah. failed runs and stuff. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Pavel's a good guy. I, it's uh Pavel actually has helped me a lot too. Um, yeah, so I know Pavel I know as someone in terms of a name I've heard of a lot for Crazy teams, Pavo's up there. Um, yeah, Pavo's got some triple TO action going on in his dungeon. So if people want to cry about my stuff being unfair, he's got the triple TO crutch. <laughs> <laughs> See, what people don't appreciate here is on this like Ice Golem 10 and stuff, the boss hits so hard. Like, it's it's absurd. It you know, you're obviously rocking some really good regen gear here and on some of these kind of boss fights, but the boss is just smacking so damn hard. Yeah, I tried. Um, I've tried like a lot of things for this. You know, I tried tanking him with like Chris or Brogni or whatever, and it yeah. kind of works. But if you're unlucky, he he just nukes everybody. Yeah. Have you These, I, have you played around not... with trying to take down the side ads, or is it just straight up better because they burn as well? It's better because they burn as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really think um, any of the other hard dungeons are too overtuned. Uh, honestly, yeah, because you want them to be tough, right? You don't, you don't yeah. want them to just be a walkover, right? I agree. I don't want them to be totally easy for anyone to just walk in and be able to beat them. What's the point in that? I mean, some of my favorite time in raid was actually getting through faction war and and doom tower when it first came out. Yeah, so, yeah. One of my yeah, favorite yeah. times was actually when they moved from. I don't know if you would have been playing at this point. They moved from stage fifteen to twenty dungeons, right? And you. Were you involved then, or they they already stage twenty when you started playing? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't even remember. So at like... this point, the Arbiter mission was not even a thing. It's when they they added Arbiter as like a a mission champion. Um, I think that was before me then. Yeah, it might it might have been. It's actually going back some time now. But I was one of the first people to get Arbiter. Not I'm not the first, but one of the first. And moving from stage like fifteen to twenty dungeons was insanely difficult for especially spider people hadn't really worked out that hp burn was the way to beat spider yet and you know we were trying all these different teams you know half the champions now which overpower this stuff didn't exist aoe burners didn't really exist back then a lot either mm -hmm. and i ended up building this kind of ignatius team which was it, it took me ages to kind of come up with the concept or, or start to use the concept. And I found, I actually, I did come up with the concept. I found someone on some weird Reddit post say, look at this. And I was like, oh my God, this is the way to do it. HP burn is the way to go. You know, it was like, it was like revolutionary back then. Yeah, yeah. This is actually a, a legit strap. Make the spiderlings burn. And that was, it was just such a fun time when it was like, you don't just get given the, the new hardest content. You, you have to build teams worked your gear up to do it. It was like moving from five star to six star, uh, star gear was necessary to beat the next lot of, of, yep. um, of stuff, you know? It wasn't just if you could do it before, you can, you can do it now. You had to work your way up to it. And that was actually really, really fun. Now, that's, the, that's the way I feel like progression should be in a game like this. No, I, I agree 100%. I'm probably going to get quite a bit of flag for it, but not every account is meant to clear every content in the game. Yeah, true. Um, yeah. You know, I'm just being brutally honest. I, I've been messaged by people that tell me, hey, I'm two or three months in the game. 
show me this team or that team and why can't I clear this? And honestly, like your account's not meant to clear it yet. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, well, we get, we get people that come through for takeovers. Almost the, the request always for clan bosses, you know, I want a team that one keys Ultra Nightmare clan boss. And it sounds like, yeah, well, that's fine. That should be easy. Well, it's not easy if you don't have any gear and, you, you know, it's, and you're not ready or you don't have mm -hmm. the champions or whatever. It's, it's not easy. So it's easier than it's ever been, but it doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then people just underestimate, I think, as a whole, um, you know, gearing still. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know, champions are important. Yeah. And definitely like some champions like a Krizia or the Ukrainian duo will enable a lot. But if you don't have the gear to back it up, it's still not going to do anything for you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because even, even if you've got good gear, but it's not the right type of set for the content you're fighting, that's just, it's still not going to cut it. Like what you're doing here, every champion's basically in gearing, which fills their need. Everyone's got masteries which fit the need of what you're trying to do. And that's, what, that's why I asked the question that right back at the start. Is it pretty much like everybody on your account is set up to fight a specific task, you know, rather than yeah. you know, the jack of all trade type of builds? That's not really where you're at anymore. No, it's, it, it, you know, yeah, it, it does. It is easier when you have dupes, you know, admittedly. Um, yeah, you, you just the stat bloke becomes blessings and dupes, obviously. Well, I guess mm. blessings for you massively reduce the damage you take as well, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean. Besides, like, honestly, that blessing is probably keeping Cold Heart and Stag alive quite yeah. a bit. <laughs> You've got like five star on Cold Heart, what? A six on Cold Heart, is it? And six five on, on Cold Heart, Stag? and then a four or five on Stag. Yeah. Um, so they're actually taking, what's that? Is, that, is it 50% less damage? No, not something like that. that yeah. so. It's but substantial. Anyway. Yeah, so oh. it's a decent wedge of, of damage reduction, which when he's hitting as hard as he does, I did see on mm -hmm. one of the runs, Stag actually looked very low after one hit it almost dropped crit, i guess yeah. yeah and that's the other thing that we can't figure out is we know obviously you know depending on how many uh, shield hits are up is the damage is different but right sometimes you just seem to get hit with like a giant smack for no apparent reason plus ally protect is like bugged on this uh, we think it, oh it really just, yeah it doesn't and we were testing with like snick track with Brogni or Chris, and it's like 130k HP, 6k defense, it's still getting nuked, like instantly one shot. <laughs> oh, really? It was just weird, yeah. So we kind of went off of that idea for a bit too. Yeah. Have you tried oh, yeah. um, reflection? Any champions that are kind of doing reflect? Um, I think Splitzy tried Snick Track for a bit, and he was just getting nuked to death. Didn't, yeah. I don't think the Shields really worked, um, or uh, to take down the shield. I don't think that really helped. The other thing no. though is, and Callus said it's okay to mention this, but he's actually working on a Fire Knight Ten calculator that oh yeah, Avo and we we've been kind of messing around with. Um, I, I well, don't know when he'll in terms of speed tuning. It. You mean? Yeah, in terms of speed tuning. Yeah, it's just like oh, a clan cool. boss calculator, but just for Fire Knight Ten. Yeah. So hopefully when that gets, we've been kind of like beta testing it and trying to help him work out the kinks. When that, uh, I don't know when he wants it, but when, when that, or if that goes live, I think it'll help a lot of people too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is, um, yeah, because I, I feel like the Reflect champions, like Reflect should be a thing here because you blatantly you need to get through so many layers of shield. But again, similar to the Freeze champions, there's not really that many that offer you anything else. No. Like, <laughs> Who's, who's reflecting damage that actually offers you something that's either going to help you through waves or gives you something else for the boss or, or have enough multi hits on their A1? I mean, we've tried, that's we've very tried like, some, some really stupid stuff. I mean, we've, like, I've, you know, we had like a 375 reflex cardio, we had like a 350 right. savage Valk. And the problem is, like, if you get through the waves fast, then nothing is yeah. up for the boss. So then you just instantly die, anyways. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, and then, like, even here, Stag somehow didn't land his decrease, you know, defense or attack on more than half of them. <laughs> yeah. He slows the run down horribly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just, it's really fun, but also has been incredibly frustrating. Kind of, <laughs> I bet. Kind of solve this one. As somebody who's trying to be, like, a bit, bit perfectionist with their stuff, it must be really annoying, yeah.
No, this is terrible. I mean, and then it's like I I had my Fire Knight twenty five running so smoothly back then, and the fact that it's it's such a huge delta from that time to what I'm running now, it's yeah. almost like a two minute delta. That's insane. You know, like to your point, am I actually gonna farm this? What if I what if I queue up five k energy? Just wait overnight. Is it even gonna finish it by then? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just definitely. It's just silly. It, but but you um. Like if, if mythical gear started to drop in the shop, is that the type of thing you'd just be like, yeah, I'm just going to pick it up? Probably, yeah. I mean, I've had one mythical piece I've kept, I think, and it was it wasn't even perfect. It was, like a, it was a speed attack percentage chest, and it rolled three into the, uh, the mythical stat for crit damage. It has crit rate and stuff on it. So it's a decent okay. piece. But yeah. like, that's like the, out of all this form, that's the only one. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's just I don't know. I mean, it's. I'm just looking at it like, man. So they basically soft reset my gear, right? I have to farm for mythical if I want to keep competing. Yeah. But how long is it going to take to get? I'm going to need what, five hundred thousand energy each time I want like a couple just, good pieces. It, I think someone said it's just like layers and layers, isn't it? Because you've also got did it roll a decent ascension on that yeah. piece, and yeah, it just it's never ending. Like to to find the perfect piece is just blown up even bigger again, isn't it? It's just like yeah, like you say. It, it's just thousands insane. of energy thousands and i know that even if you don't ascend it well that doesn't mean the, the gear is trash but it feels bad it feels really bad yeah yeah no i get that yeah. i was actually when i was doing this kind of um the clover draft the epic plan boss stuff mm -hmm. so i'm on the test server which means i've got free resources basically as long as they're loaded in i can't just pick what resources i want but i've got free resources so I was literally just ascending everything and then realizing that I just don't have enough. Like, I, I don't have that much gear that is ascended. And when I found a piece that was good, like I was finding some good gear, and I was like, oh, yeah, I send that up. Very quickly, I ran out of the, the, the stuff. Like, oh, very quickly. It was just like, I'm, oh, okay, that's gone. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been lucky on ascensions. I, I think, like, my Baron or Candy... Um, I think has like maybe one or two good ascensions, I believe. Yeah. Um, but it, it's it, you know you're looking for what like crit damage gloves to ascend crit damage or crit rate right, or like speed boots obviously with speed and it's it's I blew up what like forty speed boots with speed to get like two or three maybe that ascended speed. <laughs> it's just, and then yeah. the rest are kind of useless to me now you know and then it's like yeah it make... feels like yeah exactly it feels like the rest will. <sighs> So what have you got, like, two, three, three, and then the rest just didn't roll it? So yeah. are the ones that just aren't fully ascended because you didn't They're roll speed? Just, they, they, they just didn't roll speed, you know? So it's just, wow. why, why bother, right? Why bother if you're going, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's, and I, I farm a lot, too. So it's, I even, I didn't revise my rules to keep, like, any speed boot, uh, with the speed main stat. Yeah. Irrelevant of whether it's rare or whatever, just because yeah. it might. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, and it's just, yeah, you get one champion that's fast, but then everybody has to be fast to be somewhat tuned. But even then, it's like, you can't really get them tuned now because of things like temporal chains and intimidating presence, all the blessings. So it's just. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's just, you know, I, I get frustrated with the game. I still enjoy it, obviously, but. Half the time I'm looking at it going, like, what the hell, player am? <laughs> yeah, but would would you, like, let's say, um, I don't know, another game came out. What what would you change? Like, what would you be looking for from a, another game that would be doing it better than what Ray do it right now? I mean, that's the rub. I, I can't, I mean, it, I just don't like their business decisions. While I understand where they're coming from from a business standpoint, I just don't. To the you know for the players I don't know I'm just I, I think they could give back with a little bit more of the community and, and not be so obviously pinching on on everything yeah um, it, it's just... you have to say like or in my opinion anyway, you don't have to say in my opinion they still do it they they have got a better game than anyone else on the market for depth of champion gearing you know min maxing I guess and content which is actually quite challenging and diverse to beat would you agree with that 
Yeah. Um. Sorry, I had a work call that I'd ignore. Can you come again? I know. I was just saying, like, in terms of versus other games of this type of genre, it feels like they've got more depth than other games. Oh, yeah. They've got depth in gearing, depth in champions, depth in abilities, challenging different types of content to beat. Um, I feel like they do it better than anyone else, but still, obviously, the, the kind of greedy side of it is Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, you know, I, I do, I have tried a couple other ones. Like, I think I tried, um, you know, Eternal with the Eternal Evolution when, yeah. you, uh, when you were doing that, and it, it's fun, but it doesn't scratch that, I guess, same itch. Um, plus, like, the Eternal rate Evolution, I, I thought was really nice. good, just didn't have the same sort of depth. I mean, yeah. Yeah, like that, that was of, really it. Yeah. It was lacking the depth. Um, there's just so much more I feel like you can do with raids still at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't see myself quitting, you know, anytime soon. It's like I said, I'm still on that grind of gotta get better stuff, gotta, you know, gotta push the account further, and uh, you know, and yeah, I see well, comments in the chat. Like, I'm definitely not, <laughs> not a, a crazy, crazy account. You know, you guys don't have to. Uh, to remind me i know there's much insane much more insane ones out there um but that's i think that's part of the fun for me is either trying to catch them or trying to figure out where i can be better than them yeah with you know with what i have so, so if you were starting raid tomorrow let's say you were starting yeah and, and you already know a bit about this game would you would you start a new account or would you just go and look to buy uh a well-established account like one like you've got here Personally, no. Um, it's something we've talked about a lot as well, you know, debated in the cluster. And I, I respect people's decision for doing it, but that's just not me. I, yeah. I like my account because this is my original account. Like, yeah. I built it from the ground up. This is my effort or whatever you want to call it. Um, so like, there's like a strange attachment to it, I guess. It just feels weird buying another account with already... Yeah, I, I wouldn't be keen to do it. Like, if I went and played it, if I just suddenly decided I'm going to start a new game, um, and it's it's a similar kind of game with this, these type of mechanics, you know, whether it's collector or uh, grindy type of game, I wouldn't feel right just buying an account that's already well established. I know some people do, and it's it's definitely a much much cheaper way to get to something like this, like far cheaper way to get to something like this, but it wouldn't sit right with me at all yeah plus i don't know i mean you're it's a gotcha game you know part of the experience or whatever is hitting gold right when you do pull the gold and then <laughs> yeah that, i mean that's what everyone's looking for right is that that feeling i mean let's be realistic <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and ultimately like i don't know how do you feel now when you're doing shard pulls are you still as excited to to find that gold no so that is one bad thing about being a whale kraken you know, whatever you want to call it is, yeah. That excitement definitely kind of ends when you're doing, you know, fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand shard pulls. It's, eh, it's honestly you get more frustrated than anything because it's like, oh look, another Fortis. When am I? Yeah. Gonna, when you're are you're gonna looking for something reason? specific at that point. You're not looking for anything that might improve your account. You're specifically like, I need this. Yeah, exactly. So, it, it, it you know, I, I think now it's mostly, I would say. Honestly, probably 65, 70% community that's, um, that's probably keeping me here. Yeah. Just everyone's pushing each other and, you know, has new ideas. And, and then, like, I'll see, like, a, maybe Saf or Deadwood or whoever has a cool new, you know, sandbox build. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, I want to try that just yeah. to see how it works. Um, but, yeah, yeah no, sure. it's, it's, it doesn't get me excited anymore. The only thing, you know what gets me excited now is, is good gearing. Like, if I see, like, a good gear and it rolls well, I'm like, okay. Thank God, <laughs> this one wasn't <laughs> trashed. <laughs> yeah. What? Who would be your kind of like plus four that you would just love to have right now? I mean, obvious answers would be, you know, like a Marichka or a Terrace. Yeah. Um, Baron. Well, that's arena focus, right? Yeah, more arena focus for PVE. I mean, a plus four Crisia would probably blow through so many things so much faster. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But it's like, I don't know, the, the empowerment to me hasn't impacted PvE as much. I haven't really had to, I guess, crutch on it as much for my stat builds. Um, more, it's more for Arena and just keeping up with or trying to at least compete with the Giga Krakens or Leviathans, um, top 30, top 40 players. 
you know that's that's where it's really scary people are asking about your fan bus team so this is a um it's a mifu mifu team no uh yeah it's um uh, clan boss is the one area where i honestly i just ask splitzy usually or cody i'm like hey guys you guys are mods for dead what you guys know clan boss give me a team these are the champions i have that aren't being used for anything else right now <laughs> yeah yeah but basically so it's just like a, a a bit of a filler you know you're gonna one kit every day you're not that fussed about messing too much with teams there yeah i just wanted a one key affinity friendly i'm not going to use these champions for anything else yeah um, but now i might use turbo for pvp so i got to pull him out and I don't know, i'll throw someone else in yeah yeah definitely well this this is the uh, thing i struggle with so as a content creator i'm constantly changing stuff so whereas you said earlier like you know i hate changing gear on people i'm constantly changing gear mm -hmm. and it's a nightmare because so That's many sad. of my champions look like this. <laughs> That's why early on your raid. It's like one piece is missing and obviously like stuff is failing or stuff yeah. is not quite working right. And you're like, oh, what did I do? And <laughs> you kind of follow the rabbit world because it's like, well, okay, I changed that. Where did I put that one? Oh, that went there, but it's moved since then. And uh, <laughs> you end up with just like a bunch of half-built champions, which, you know, do the job a bit. Uh, I, I try. Yeah. I try and like... Discipline myself, like, don't change this champion now. This one's done. But uh, yeah, it's hard. It's too hard. I, I couldn't figure out why I was losing my, my tag team fights the other day. And then I realized all my teams were like half naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. man. It just feels no, bad good. at that point. Good stuff. At least you're feeling it as well. I've actually got a lot of sheep going on as well. I guess this is mainly PvP stuff, right? Are you, are you a fan of the polymorph or not? Uh, <laughs> it's infuriating. It is, it is, uh, it's just not an enjoyable experience to me, I think, to, on either end. Drag the fight out, it just pisses people off. <laughs> yeah. Sheep is, is, I don't know. But you take away sheep, though, and then Marichka immediately gets nerfed, right? You just ramen to her. And, yeah. you know, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I, and I'm really, actually, the, for Blessings, the thing I'm most sad about is the Poison and Burn ones. I thought they were going to be for, like, PV, uh, PVE as well. PVE stuff, like, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, but they're yeah. only for PVP, and I'm just like, what? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you actually, doing this like, I feel like a lot of the Blessings are not that impactful. Like, there's some which are obviously very good, and I think quite well thought out. But probably half, at least, of the blessings are so weak and pretty mm -hmm. useless. Yeah, I mean, just change see. them, right? We were, we were trying to use like Miracle Heal in Fire Knight too. Um, yeah, which we thought that might be a place, and then I think Cobble may be still using it. I, I you know I got off of it. There's really like not much. I mean, Crushing Rend at six is just OP as hell. Yeah, um, you know, for like Seer. Um, but before six, yeah. I mean, maybe five, you get away with it. But it's certainly still pretty, before yeah, five, good. it's like yeah, nowhere exactly. near as strong, though, is it? It's like yeah, nowhere near as strong. I mean, before you know, I had to build my seer to what like three seventy five, three or close to three eighty crit damage. Now I can cut the crit damage by a significant amount and still be doing more damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just it's, it's crazy, you know. And now I can build into like her attack too, which is what I did a little bit just so her. Um, A1 hits harder when she's, cool. you know, when she's hitting the boss. And do you, do you use Optimizer for your builds, or do you tend to I did. Uh, eyeball no, your I builds? Do. You do. No, you're, yeah. Your Optimizer, um, the team's Optimizer, whatever, has has helped a lot. I, I like just playing with it and sitting on it and just seeing what I can come up with, too. It's been great. Yeah, cool. Well, look, thank you for, for sharing so much of your time, man. It's been really interesting going through the account. Um, and obviously, like, some crazy, crazy achievements with your with what you've got. I know you've got a big account. Some people think, oh, he's got a big account. That's easy then. It's not. It's not. Like, I've got a big account. I don't go and just kind of beat up all of level 10 stuff. Like, it's, um, yeah, it's really impressive, man. Really, really fun yeah. to kind of take a deep dive into what you're doing. Um, yeah, no, thanks for having me on. You know, it's a, it's a good community. You know, I've been here for, for a while now. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's, like it's I did I did two to three years, right? You've been around the community at least. So I mean, Taco got me into his clan back in the day. Right, 
Damn. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, this is back when Sophia was still around all the time, right? So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. A few, so no, a few a, people been and gone. Yeah. So thanks yeah. for having me on. No, it's it's great, and uh, appreciate everything you do for the community too. So, um, yeah, yeah, thanks good. a lot. Thanks, man. Well, no doubt we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Yep. Will do. Catch you later, buddy. There we go. What do you guys think? I kind of like doing those, those type of showcases. Just now and then, it's quite nice to get a showcase on. Yeah, I think now and then it's it's nice to get a a showcase on where we're looking at somebody's account from a different perspective. Like this is an end game player who's also comfortable to throw quite a lot of cash into the game. Uh, let's just jump back onto my account. Yeah, sorry about that. I I turned the wrong. I got like different sound channels. I turned the wrong one down before I um, blasted the music on. But yeah, crazy account, right? Crazy account. Should do a word of warning, the new pack they dropped. I did, I've done that once already, Saf, but I will do it again. Variety pack string. This one, this one's a bit naughty really, right? To do the first level of it, not a three. Clarium. Get yeah, straight thumbs down for that one. Straight thumbs down. Everyone thinks they're get, going to buy it once and get onto this, which feels pretty decent value. No. you got to buy it three times first. Start shaking your hair. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a straight thumbs down. I don't know. Has anyone bought this, by the way? Does it do the same as you get further along? But it's not terrible value, I think, as a pack. I don't think it's terrible value, but this purchase limit on the first one is is not right. Do I still do raid maximum damage shorts? I do from time to time, not daily, Richard. I, there was a time where I did it daily. Not anymore. People just basically people stop watching them, so I stopped doing them. Um, or not, not everyone didn't stop watching them, but probably like instead of a decent chunk of people watching them, about a quarter of that was watching them and just didn't feel like it was worth all of that energy, you know? Because you'd think, oh, maximum damage short, only take you two seconds. No, it takes you about as long as a normal video by the time you mix, mix up all the editing and stuff, so, you know. Uh, Preston, the third one you've got to buy twice. So not only is that, where is it? So this one, you got to buy three times. This one, you're saying you've got to buy twice to move on as well, yeah? That's, um, it's a bit, it's definitely a cheaty pack, this one. Definitely a cheaty pack. Oh, headbanging for the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are we feeling about it? I was saying, I don't know if Saf, you're, you're still around. Um, our new pack calculator rates it as epic. Yeah, I was showing people this as well earlier. So we have added on the website a, a kind of general offer calculator if people want to just be testing it out. Just as a, another reference point, if you're unsure whether something is good value in the raid land, not good value in real life, but in the raid land, is it good value? You can come and use this and try it out as another kind of point of reference. Yeah, so Saf, I was talking on my free to play. I don't know who to six star next, man. I've got resources right now to six star someone and it's really tough because I really, really want to improve my clan boss team. But I'd love to improve my clan boss team. And probably the only way that I can do that is either Build a two for one speed team. So six star in apothecary. 
but I don't really have the pieces to make a six star, a, a two for one team that good. So I guess let me get my clan boss, potential clan boss champions in the open here. Probably just uh, maybe, uh, maybe Doom's Breach, I guess. Thought I had a Mimradon, but I guess I've got rid of him. Anyway, this is what I got. So I could probably go a Piker Toon Apothecary for my two for one speed team. I've got Sepulchre, but she's not great on a two for one. I thought I did have Mimradon. I think I must have got rid of him, which was poor judgment if I did. I swear I still had him. Anyway, looks like I haven't got him. He's in reserve. I'm not seeing him, though. That's not him, is it? Is that him? No, that's not him. He's not there, is he? Oh, it is that guy, is it? Is that the one? I thought he was Chevalier or something like that. Yeah, he's not. He's not the one. He's no good. I'll tell you what. Let me just grab the optimizer quick. That will tell me quicker than me trying to find it. This account looks rough. This account feels rough, honestly. I'm just kind of like at this point where I'm just farming, waiting for something better to happen. Which just feels a bit, a bit bleak. Nah, I don't have a Mimradon. For whatever reason, I've got rid of it. I swear I've had one, but that's on me. But either way, you don't really want to invest in one, do you? You'd, you'd rather not. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's it's rough times. I wonder how many shards I've pulled, honestly. It's got to be a butt ton and not much going on. But yeah, I don't have him. So if I went on a two for one with Sepulchre, that means that her block debuffs is going to be out of sync. I could bring Benchy for poisons and stuff if I wanted to build one out. I've got Aina. But she's got a turn meter boost on her A1, which is a bit of a nightmare for a speed tune. This doesn't feel like there's a whole lot going on there that's worth upgrading. Uh, what's this? Mordecai. Really love the way they did the Missionarchy Fragment event. So much easier on people. Gives a lot more people a chance to get him. I agree. Not everyone agrees, and that's cool. Each to their own. I agree. The only thing which I wish they'd done differently is they've They've massively undervalued Ancient Shards here for me. Like if this was maybe 40 points per Ancient, then I'd be fully on board with it. That's the only thing that I feel is a bit of a letdown. And obviously you can hold the champion in, in your fusion kind of area for either clan v clan points or a champ chase when that comes up it's still not easy like getting 10,000 points on these obviously it's not easy but it's never going to be easy to do is it because why would they make it easy to do you know they still want people to spend if possible would be nice to have a warning about it well I don't know if that's a fair comment really but no, I'll I tell you right now I'm giving you a warning a month from now, around this sort of time, there's going to be a big shard event. I'll tell you another warning. In about five weeks, there's going to be a big shard event. I'm going to give you another little announcement here. In six weeks, there's going to be a big shard event. Like They're just just—they're so frequent that you can't say that you're not warned about them. They always happen. It's, it's whether you take your choice to go for that particular one, right? Or you just hold for the next one. That's your choice. Uh, we've all got a choice on that. I could have not been YOLOing on the free to play. I could have got this dude. Yeah, I could have got this dude. So I don't think it's fair to say 
We we don't know. We know because they they happen so often. Yeah. Back in the day, they didn't used to happen often, by the way. And it'd be like, oh crap, we've got a shard event. I've not seen one in three months. Yeah, that's that's the way it was. Nowadays, I think we're pretty well worn. Uh, Christomir, thank you for the super chat, mate. Earlier I was saying I feel your pain with shard pools. What's that? Uh, what's that? Earlier I was saying I feel your pain with shard pools. As first lady, I was after seven months. It was literally like, oh, you were on, on like basically mercy where you to get it. Yeah, that's harsh, man. I've got to be getting close to mercy, I think. Uh, thanks to a few of the other guys earlier. I missed these. Sorry about that. Splitsy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, if you're still around. Colossus as well. Benchy and Aishma worked well together for Clan Boss. Okay. Justin. Aishma and Benchy. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I'm missing some of the big pieces. That's all. El Haynes turned into Arena Nuka. Yeah, Saf. So, El Haynes. Well, actually, she's kind of built fast as well. I can't remember what exactly what I built her for. It was something I did content on. I think it might have been a Doom Tower boss or something like that. But um, I've kind of got a combination of pretty quick high cartoon, decent drop defense. We've got a clan boss stroke nuka build on Ronda. Yeah, I mean, most of my champions now are in a half decent build, I would say. Kevin, variety pack, huge scam. Yeah, we've just been talking about that, buddy. Yeah, it is a huge scam. So yeah, I'm struggling. I don't feel like there's anybody for Clan Boss who is a massive worthwhile champion. Also for like, I don't feel like I need another Nuka built right now. Skull Crown, Gembo. I could build and they're slightly better than what I've already got. But I don't feel like that's what I want my resources to be used for. But that doesn't really work for me. Support champions, Apothecary could be good. Woad Painted could be good. I've already got a level 50... I've already got a level 50 Relicry Tender. Do I need another one, you know? I just... I feel like I'm just waiting for that next big thing. Tolf? <laughs> Tolf's not that next big thing. There's my mission here. Yeah, I'm on void. I'm not... I'm not really a million miles away from Arbiter. I do think I'd struggle to get through St uh, Spider 20 with the champions I've got right now. No burner. Like, I'm really lacking a, an AoE HP burn. That would that would help me a lot. 2021 Woad Painting's a chicken. 2023 Woad Painting could be pretty good. Yeah, true. What about adjusting speed tune for Turlac? Who is Turlac? I can't even think who Turlac is. Oh, Shadow Bow. The rare. What benefit would I get out of him? What, because of this ability? I don't know, man. I don't feel like... I don't feel like... The shield's kind of nice, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Again, like... I, I got the same feeling with Apothecary, honestly, Saf. Do I really want to build out a level 60 Apothecary right now? Or should I just wait? Maybe I'm just better off waiting until I get something better. Is it 20% damage reduction? Hold on. Decreases the damage received from skills by all allies under Veil by 5%. Not 20, it's just 5%, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Plus, plus Veil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I, I definitely, I feel like I need AoE HP burn or I need someone who's a bit more clan boss focused or an ally protector. That's... That's what this account is desperate for. It's why I turn 1,200 gems into shards today. Try and just get an ally protector on this account to try and get one of these epics. 
So damn brutal. So brutal. What does the optimizer say is the best damage I could get from Flamos? That's a good question. Let's have a look. Uh, team optimizer. Plan boss. Let's try Nightmare. 17 mil if I built out this team. What speed we're running here? Slow as well. Just a straightforward um, clan boss setup. Sixteen mil. I mean, it's not. This is my team that I'm. Uh, no, it's not. But that's the sort of damage I'm doing already. Thirteen odd mil. I've actually done fourteen, fourteen and a half million with the team that I run. Maybe I'll show you a quick run of of my team right now. And I've not I've not tried to improve any of their gear for some time. So uh, actually, against Spirit, I think I get wrecked. Let's see, I think I get wrecked in Spirit. Best wishes from Lithuania. Thank you. Welcome. Juliana and Romero. Imagine if I built those out. I'd be... I don't know if I could bring myself to do that. Juliana and Romero. Yikes. So yeah, it looks like I've fed a Mimradon at some point. But I think I fed it because I was like, surely this is not going to be my best option. <laughs> Turns out it was. By the way, it looks like I'm going to get access to the, um, the champion changes. Um, you know, the two champion buffs, Elegaeus and... Who's the other dude? Who's the other dude? Suzerain. Do you guys want to see that? Is that are these champions you're excited to see the changes of? Perhaps on like a Sunday stream. Is that something you're up for? Or, or are you not very excited about these changes? HH, what have we learned about feeding people? <laughs> yeah. Not really, not really up for those changes. That's what I was wondering. Like, I'm, I'm potentially interested in what Suzerain could do in terms of new damage. That's about it. The rest of it is, um, yeah. There's no sign of any of that sort of stuff, Saf. No sign of anything else. That's all. I, that's all I think I'm gonna have a look at. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Good point, um, Alec. The the giveaway ends today. So there's a giveaway on the site right now. Um, maybe, Saf, if you could find a link or if someone's got a link to it. Basically, if, if you get involved in the giveaway, you can win a, a takeover, some HH merch, a whole bunch of stuff available, uh, but it ends today. Then I've got a link to that handy. Awesome. Thank you, mate. Yeah, get involved, guys. If, you're, if you want to try and win a takeover or some free stuff, that's the place to do it. Saf just linked it. Is the allele change in the game? Can it be tested? I've heard, since they mentioned it was definitely coming, I've heard nothing else about allele, honestly. Yeah, I've, I've heard nothing else about it, so I don't know. I don't know. So, considering I'm going against Spirit here, I mean, I'm doing okay damage. 12 mil. It's still... The trouble I've got at the moment on my free-to-play is I'm on Nightmare here, and I'm basically... 
between a three and a four key. I'm not consistently three keying, although I hit three key damage now and then. But I'm pretty much right bang in between the two. And that's just annoying for me. <laughs> I want to be doing more. This is not a bad hit. Uh, I can officially tell you that is not what's happening, Swift Cut. A little not live yet. Okay. No, so a little is definitely not live. I just wondered if it was meant to be coming in this patch. They did say in the next patch, didn't they? And there's no talk of it. So in my content creator chat stuff, there's no talk of it on like the test server. That's all. Look us in the eyes. <laughs> it. I wouldn't even be able to tell you if it was live. That's the thing. That's how you know I'm telling the truth. I wouldn't be able to tell you. It was announced in Raid Digest 10th of March. Have you reached a point where you can do events and tournaments for the steelbooks at last prize? Uh, yeah, I can pretty much farm. Like most areas, I'm farming stage 20. Most areas of the game, I farm 20. It's not that fast, but I'm farming it. So it's kind of easy. Uh, I do already have a void shard. That was my void. That's where I got the void shard from earlier, Rain. It's from Doom Tower. Yeah, I have got that one. Yeah, I got that earlier on. I killed Sorath. Actually, that was quite good. So I had to use Candlestick Head to do that. You did it. So did Lady H. I had to work on that. in the spider flipping heck lady H is catching me up this is definitely not a, a well tuned team right now I feel like I might have changed it didn't look as ropey as this earlier am I stagnant in there yeah lady H over HH Come do some streaming. She's alright, she says. Oh, this team's actually well ropey. Who is Candlestick Head? Yeah, it is Kalinia, Kalinia, something like that. She um She does an HP burn on her A1. She's my only burn champion. Out of all of my champions in the game, she's the only one I got. But she does a burn on her A1. So she was the, the way that I got through Sorraf today. Damn, this is actually going to fail. I think I must have messed this up because I was running... I was I running? It might have been this one. Maybe it was this. I should label my teams, right? Is it this? Yeah, Umber on the go. Yeah, it could do. Please, uh, Keneally is actually fully uh, fully booked. She's quite a nice healer stroke support champ once she gets going. I think I just had the wrong team in. Saw a team that had... Frozen Banshee and Seal, but no Block Revive. There must have been a Block Revive element to it. Has to be. Candlestick Head, reasonable search term, yeah. I definitely need to change her bio so that it says that in it, I think.
That's more like it. Um, Immortal, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're pretty much coming towards the end of the stream. We've already done the showcase, mate. I'm back on my free-to-play account now. Good thing about streaming, though. You can just go back and check earlier if you want to. But yeah, we had Sent on earlier showing his like, cracking account. Which was fun, actually. It's good to see like someone who's really pushing times on all of the, the new hard dungeon content and stuff. Like trying to theorycraft the best possible teams. This is stage 20 here for my free-to-play. Cornelia is such a good healer, yeah. Really good champ. But yeah, around 2 minutes 20, this team. Not too bad. For once, I'm actually quite keen to get an Ancient Shard from killing a dungeon just so that I could try and get another, another try at one of these bloody ally protectors. Right, guys, I think we're going to call it a night there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that kind of different style of of chat we've sent earlier. It was pretty cool. Uh, I enjoyed it, at least. I, I always enjoy kind of getting someone on who's who's really, like, keen to push the game as far as they can. So, yeah, I guess Sunday, we'll come back on for a stream on Sunday. We'll see if there's any interest in the kind of test server stuff. If not, then I think we'll do an account takeover. So, um, if you're interested in an account takeover... Make sure you join my Discord. You need to be on my Discord to have a chance to win on one of those streams at the moment. So exclamation mark Discord. Join it in advance if you want to have any sort of chance to win. Because if I'm going to do it, I'm probably going to do the giveaway in the Discord before the stream happens. Yeah, before the stream happens, it's going to already be decided. That's really important. Um, have yourself a good rest of the weekend, guys. I'll catch you on Sunday.